So today I'm flying from Manchester to Bangkok and the best place in England right now is the departures at an airport in England. I'm flying with my golf bag. I've already checked in. We had two, uh, two 23 kilo bags as a baggage allowance, which is good, which is a normal economy ticket. And my golf bag can count as one of them. So I'm gonna drop them off and then I'm just gonna get going through the airport and I'll take you with me. Let's go. She said, uh, Juliet, it's just come from that. Oh, yeah. That, that, that it's camera's it's not switched on, is it, Paul? Eh? Yeah. The camera's switched yeah, on. Yeah, we're filming you. Wait. Uh, it's supposed to be off. Yeah, yeah I'll turn it we're off. looking for people that look exactly like you. He's and joking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was dropping off the uh, oversized. Yeah. yeah. Martin. What are these? Junbi. Yeah. I think you have to go security, don't you, to the departures. Have you, have, uh, have you, have you checked the camera on? No, it's off. Can I just drop off the oversize? Yeah. Hi. Hi, yeah. How are you doing? Straight down the centre barriers, guys. Yeah, it's true. Any liquids and right, no, see that one, sir? It's empty, yeah. it's empty. It's just an empty bottle. We're, we're trying to get you through as easy as you can, guys. Yeah. It's, right. okay. it's an we're, empty bottle. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Separate so we're trying track. to get you through as easy as we can. I want the electrics in here that you're wearing, sir, you see? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I was going to get another. Nice and easy, guys. Fine. We're not going to overcrowd the trays. I was going to get another tray, but... All we're going to do, see, what we did there, sir, yeah. is we hid a liquid that we can't take, you see, sir, 125 mils. Is it? You can't take it, sir, you see. I've got to oh, So, if it's 125 mils, sir, it can't go, and that's why nice we didn't want anything guys. covering in the tray, sir, like that. So get another tray for them, sir. All your liquids have got to be clearly seen. Yeah. So last year the questions about both bags. Yeah. Go for it. So since you've packed them, yeah. have you left them unattended? Uh, no. Yeah. And nobody's asked you to carry anything? No. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Initially today we're flying from Manchester to Jeddah with Saudi Air Airlines. I think it's about a seven hour flight. We're then there for four hours and then we're flying to Bangkok after that. So we're about to set off any minute now. And uh, I'll see you when we get there. So I made it halfway to Jeddah. It's been eventless so far, everything's been all right. The flight was good, the food was good, everything was on time. I think we we're early if anything. Now we've got three and a half hours waiting here. The airport looks pretty nice. There's uh, burger places, fast food. It's all just fast food and burgers, like nothing uh, too brilliant. I'm just gonna have a quick walk around and I'll turn the camera around and take you with me. So let's have a look. It's like some duty-free places, local food. I think it's usual airport prices, nothing out of the ordinary here. But generally speaking, so far, flying with Saudi, there's been no different with them than uh, to anyone else. The good thing was the three and a half hours check-in before going. Uh, the baggage allowance is really good, so yeah, I've got no complaints at all. It was sort of organised chaos at the security uh, coming out into the transit lounge, but that's the same everywhere. So yeah, no complaints at all. The airport looks nice and new. So yeah, it's all good. Uh -huh. yeah, certainly plenty of sweet shops. If you've uh, got a sweet tooth, you won't be going hungry. If you're an alcoholic though, you might struggle. Let's look at the prices. So that's 65 Saudi Riyals. I think that's like 12 pounds or 15 US dollars or something. It's about the same as anywhere else really. M&M peanut butter, that sounds quite good actually. Hmm. We don't get that in England. Yeah, it does sound quite good. We'll have to make a purchase on that. There's some decent looking little shops around. We're here, I think right now it's about two in the morning. So things are still open. So yeah, I'm guessing if you're here in the daytime, it's probably very busy because it's not exactly quiet right now. Let's keep going and see what we find. Some souvenirs. Yeah, some quite nice looking things. There's quite a few football fans loitering around. It's the World Cup starts in two days and I think quite a few people are transiting from here over to, um, over to Qatar. Hmm. There's some well stocked shops. Yeah, it's a huge, huge terminal. Hopefully, I won't get lost. I've left my bags up with my parents um, on a different floor. Yeah, it's all very nice so far from what I can see. Also, everywhere we've been, there's been these travelators, so it's really not been a hassle to um, go from one end of the um, one end of the terminal to the other, and it's very much air conditioned. We were thinking it was going to be hot. We've come in here and it's actually freezing cold. It's about probably about 15 degrees in here. You need a coat on, so bear that in mind if you're coming. But yeah, so far, I would recommend the airline. Well, no reason to say anything bad about it. And um, I didn't mention earlier, I paid £550 for my flight. That's a return from Manchester to Bangkok. Um, I'm flying, right now it's November, just before the World Cup starts, and I'll be returning in March. So it's a long return, uh, 550 And when my parents go back, which is in about a month, I think theirs were about, just a little bit more, like 560 which if that was three years ago, it would have been a little bit expensive. But for right now, it's actually not that bad at all. So yeah, overall, no complaints. 
Right then, we just have to wait for a fly then, and then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try and do some more filming when I'm on the plane. I forgot too early, I'm new to this YouTube thing, so I'll probably end up missing all the good bits. Um, but yeah, we'll see how I get on. See you later. I've also just noticed a Starbucks here. I just had a quick look at the prices, and even though we're in an airport, prices in the Starbucks here are about the same as what you pay in a Starbucks, just a normal Starbucks in the UK. The drinks work out about four pounds, just over four pounds. So for an airport, that's pretty good going. Um, and then also there was a burger place we sat outside earlier. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it looked decent, just a decent generic burger place. And you can get a meal sort of similar to a McDonald's meal for about six pounds. So it's certainly a lot better price than, for example, Qatar or Dubai airports. Um, so yeah, definitely a big plus there. And I'm just going past the duty free, which looks pretty, uh, pretty well stocked. Yeah, it's massive actually. So yeah, I think a long layover, you should be fine. The one negative thing that I've seen so far is we can't get onto the Wi-Fi. There's allegedly free Wi-Fi in the terminal. Uh, but when we're trying to get on, it says you need to like get a verification text message. We put a UK phone number in and the text message just doesn't come through. I asked some of the staff and they said it should come through, but it might not come through straight away. So. Well, I'm not holding my breath on it, but so far we're not connected to anything. Uh, I think there are Wi-Fi sort of connections available in the lounges, that kind of thing, but you're paying extra for that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's one complaint so far, but maybe we can get it rectified. I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, no problems. And I'll see you when I get on the flight. We're just on the second flight now. I'm sat all the back of the plane on my own. My mum and dad are down the front of the plane this time. So I'll get some peace and quiet. The plane's completely full this time. I think this one is Jeddah to Bangkok and it'll be about seven and a half hours. Uh, so I'm just gonna watch the movies on this one, try and stay awake, because then when we get there, I should be tired and I'll be able to sleep um, on the first night. See you when we get there. Just got to Bangkok, landed, everything was good. One thing that's different so far, they've not made us fill in the TM26 form, the immigration form that you normally fill in. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but it's definitely better than last year. There's none of the COVID crap. No, I'm gonna sit down, waiting, filling all that stuff in. So yeah, everything's looking good, and I'll take you with us. A lot of the locals seem to be wearing masks, but no one's asked anyone to. I've not seen any rules saying that we have to. So as far as I'm aware, we don't have to. So I think the mask thing is pretty much gone, which is definitely good news. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, so nothing so far. I made it through immigration. It's really busy here today. I mean, this is a what is it, Thursday. I've lost track of the days. I think maybe a Friday afternoon. Um, yeah, and you can probably see behind me, it's properly busy. There seems to be a lot of flights here. Immigration didn't take too long though. They've completely got rid of that TM26 form, so there's nothing. You just went through, went in, given your passport, and that was it. Also, my return flight's not for four months, so I was expecting them to start saying, have you got a return ticket and I have to start showing things like that, which is what they used to do. Uh, nothing at all, no questions, nothing. So that's all been simplified. No questions about masks, 
uh, yeah, everything seems to be completely back to normal and better than normal with regards to the not needing your return ticket within 30 days. So yeah, I'm here. I need to get my bags, get my golf bag, which is always a hassle. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to go on the airport rail link. I'll try and film down there uh, and then I'll probably finish the video there. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. So I finally made it to the hotel. Uh, I wasn't able to film on the airport rail link because I thought I'd lost my uh, chest mount for my camera. Uh, basically, on a flight, I always take a Xanax to knock me out, but it also wipes your memory, and I misplaced loads of stuff. Thought I'd lost my retainer for my teeth, thought I'd lost my laptop, thought I'd lost my chest mount for my camera. I found everything, so that's good, but yeah, I couldn't film, so I couldn't hold a selfie stick with all my bags. These are my, my bags, got my golf bag, and these other bags, so yeah, it was difficult enough as it was. But the airport rail link, it's the same as it always was. It's, I think, 45 baht to get into the city. I'm staying near Paya Thai, which links onto the BTS as well. Um, so it's a great area to stay. It was really easy, just one, one train from, you just go downstairs in the airport to the basement, you get on the train, it brings you straight into the city. It took about 20 minutes. Uh, so yeah, I'd definitely say that's a good idea. Um, everything was easy um, with the getting in, immigration, all that. Uh, the mask situation, it seems like all of the Thais or 90% of them in Bangkok are wearing uh, masks, but you don't have to. When you're on the airport rail link or the BTS, um, this, it comes on the on the tannoy saying masks are recommended, um, but they're not mandatory. Um, so you don't you don't have to. You can just choose not to. But it is a bit strange when everyone else is wearing one. Um, but yeah, you can make up your own mind on that. Yeah, I've got to the hotel. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't film film on the way here. But yeah, I've made it. I'm really tired now. It was a long journey as always. Uh, but Saudi Airlines. Definitely recommend them. There was nothing, nothing to complain about. It was really good. Um, I actually had more problems in Manchester walking around trying to film uh, than I did in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, make up your own mind on that one. Um, and yeah, the airport was was good. So yeah, um, yeah, it's a good airline. I, I'd definitely use them again. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned something or enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.